Welcome to Boise, Idaho, where fans describe a home game in one way. We get them on the blue. And that typically means trouble for anyone who tangles with the Boise State Broncos. Today, these two teams square off in what should be an exciting Mountain West showdown. As we'll see, the San Diego State Aztecs taking on the Boise State Broncos. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. The Broncos will get us started with the opening kickoff. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Aztecs offense will take the first swing of the game. Here he comes, and obviously a defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. And the Aztecs want to move quickly. They'll go to the ground. Finds his way ahead for five, and now they've got it at the 28. And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six-yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40-yard gains later. They really wear down defenses, and they test their physicality. Here they come, trying to convert a third and short from the 28. Back to throw, it's Duffy. Fires to the wideout. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Third and short like that on your own side of the field, you're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls incomplete. The Aztecs will call on their punt team. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. He gets a block. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. So the Boise State Broncos offense taking the field. First chance we have to see them today. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. On the option. Quick toss. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. Trying to move the sticks on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. He looks that one in nicely. That'll get the job done and move the chains, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. That's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. Running back searching for a hole. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground. Take away that run game. Make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. The give. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. Brought down at the 28, a chunk play, 15 yards on that one, and a first down. 
Well, the defense knew coming into this one it was going to be a physical game. Guys are going to have to be great at the point of attack and get off blocks and make tackles. They couldn't stop the offense from picking up that first down on that one. Play. To the air, it's Nelson. Dumps it to the back. Got the quick pass. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Man, this guy's going to need some water when he gets to the sidelines. They've been putting him to work on this drive, right? You've seen him toting the rock with success. Now you're seeing him get involved in the passing game, too. They are highlighting his versatility here on this drive. Using his legs, it's Genty. And the Broncos have a first down. Well, they needed two yards for that first down. The running back doing just enough to make sure he keeps this drive alive. From the 17-yard line, it's first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Outside the pocket, let's it go. It's caught. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. Well, this offense knew coming into this game, they wanted to try to attack the middle of the field in the passing game, and they're able to execute the end route there. The Broncos are threatening on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive that he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. Dialing up a second down pass play. They're trying to get to it. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. And the offense right now is moving in the wrong direction. They weren't able to get a touchdown in that first down play, now giving up a negative play on second down. You better be very careful about this third down play call. They've gotten pushed back, but it's still third and goal. Dropping back, it's Nelson. Buying some time. Great job to get down with the slide after getting everything you could. You know, in these goal line situations, the field starts to shrink. It's easier to key in on these guys that you know can fly at the quarterback spot. Defense was locked in. Nice job on the third and goal. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. the uprights it's good hold on just a second guys flag on the play might be the worst case scenario for this defense thought they'd held them to three now the offense with a chance for more they want to throw it into the end zone touchdown Boise State they grab the early lead and what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. On to attempt the try. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there getting set. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. Guys, we're about to get another look at this San Diego State offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. And the Aztecs headed quickly to the line.
right back to the well. Few things on offense as reliable as a tough power back as he plows his way ahead to the 33. It's really frustrating when you get a guy in his spot. He's in the hole. He's there to do his job. And he can't get the guy on the ground. That's your job. Get him on the ground. You know, especially a guy that's not a huge back. You've got to make that tackle. You can't make it easy on the offense where now they got a, a manageable situation. Now on the option. And he's got enough for the first down. It'll be at the 35. The Aztecs come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They've got him looking run. Now they're going to throw it. He's going to run it. They get him on the ground. Didn't see anything downfield, but made a little something out of it. Well, you're making a positive out of a negative. And that time, quarterback, nice job buying time. He's trying to throw the football downfield. Nothing there. So instead of throwing it away, getting the incomplete, just get what you can get and make this next down more manageable. Moving quickly, trying to rattle the D. The give on the inside. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. Well, that didn't bust for a long one, but now third down becomes very manageable. It's not third in eternity. Now the whole playbook, short passing game, long passing game, all of it's available. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. Dropping back, it's Duffy. Throws to the wideout. Complete downfield. On the move into 30. Ripping through the defense and getting it all the way down to the 24-yard line. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. That's the end of the quarter, and Boise State has the lead. And after that first quarter, let's see if these guys can get back in the game in the second. And the Aztecs are on the move. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Just a great job by the quarterback, the running back, the offensive line. Sneaky little devils. What do they do? Make it look like pass, sneak in the run, catch you off guard. Great play call by the offense. The Aztecs in the hurry up. Trying to find his man on first down. He caught it. And he was thinking six, but that D knocks him down at the two. One of the most difficult things about this slot receiver is his shiftiness and his athleticism. He's very, very difficult to tackle after the catch. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. On the ground, it's Cooper. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. There is nowhere to run and nowhere to hide on these situations. You know the physical ground game comes into play inside the five-yard line, and they match the intensity. Nice job. Everybody flying around to the football, making the tackle for a loss. Nice job by this defense. It's good.
So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. From the gun, they'll try the middle. Into the pile, maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it, and now it's just going to be a passing game. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. Defense there to stop him after a gain of one to the 22. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Looking for a man. It's Nelson. Feeling some heat. And the third down pass is incomplete. Defense has been looking so good on this drive so far. They already set up third and long, and now they take all the throws away down the field. Great job in coverage. Great job reading the QB's eyes. So there's nowhere for him to go with it. He's got to throw it away. And the Broncos will punt it away on fourth down. Fair catch called for and made. Guys, let's see what adjustments this San Diego State offense has made this time. And to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse, they'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line, so they just need to be a little bit more crisp here, Dave. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. And the Aztecs will hustle to the line. They'll run it from the gun. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive line's assignments. Free snap motion in the backfield. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Got his man on the right. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Well, and you're seeing the balance this offense has and how they can create explosive plays in a variety of ways. We just saw one come in the run game, and now you see one coming in the passing game. I'll tell you, they've got this defense on their heels. Not the most productive half for this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and ten. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Tempo for the offense. They think there's room to run to the right here. Going to be a gain of about three down to the 21. Just outside the red zone at the 21, but it's third and long. Looking to pass. It's Duffy. Looking left. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? And here comes the field goal unit. He's already put three on the board earlier this time, a 38-yard try. It's good.
So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Boise State ready to send out that offense. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He'll keep it himself. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. There's an example of the offense taking advantage of all the attention the defense is giving this outstanding running back. Remember, he's one of the best in the game. They're expecting him to get the football. So the quarterback says, you know what? I'll just keep it. No one's keying on me. I'm going to get upfield and find an explosive play. And off from the shotgun. Still running at the 40. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Yeah, I tell you what, I'm always keeping track as a defensive coordinator of where they're running the football. You can see they ran it to the right. Do they like this matchup? Is the right side of their offensive line really good? I'm going to be paying attention to that because that's a big gain. i got to make sure I shut this down the next time they run it. They'll put the tight end in motion. They're going to go right back to him on first down. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Scanning the field, it's Nelson. Fires left. He makes the catch. And this defense's head is spinning. He gets it down to the 27. All right, second quarter, getting closer to the half. Offense is still having a lot of success, stringing some first downs together. The defense is going to need to figure something out before they get to halftime. The Broncos getting set on first and 10. He's going to pass. Makes his connection. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. It's definitely the wide receiver's job to create space, right? So whether you're running a go or you're running a hitch like this right here, I got to find a way to push off legally or just create a little bit of space to get some positive yards. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. That is just a sideline credit. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. This offense has become a first down machine, and that is so demoralizing for the defense, especially for those star players that are playing tons of snaps. They're not subbing out as much. By the fourth quarter, they're going to be gassed. He'll set up to throw, trying to get to him. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? He's looking to throw. He makes a catch at the end zone. Touchdown, Broncos! And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. They'll try to add another to their lead. And they kick it through for the extra point, and they have an eight-point lead. So a drive there of 85 yards, and they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. 
the kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. And he's coming out of the end zone. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Aztecs offense ready to go back to work. He'll come out throwing on first down. Caught over the middle. It's Brown. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. They'll line up for a second down play. Back to throw. It's Duffy. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Well, it was a good throw, it was a good route, but it was the hit that forced that incompletion. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. They'll try to get it through the air. Getting some heat. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. Yeah, I like the aggressiveness on third and short, trying to throw the football, take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short territory. Who knows what they're going to do? The Aztecs will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He's got great speed. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. Boise State has it back ready to go to work on offense. There's enough time left in the half here, David, to make Rolfs one high and deep. And incomplete on the deep ball. I know that shot down the field was incomplete, but you've got to keep taking shots. Those receivers love to go deep. It gives them a breath of fresh air. They get more excitement. They're going to the quarterback with a little bit more juice because you know you're feeding them, so I would keep taking deep shots down the field. Now second and ten. He's looking to throw. Uncorks it. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. And the big tight end, a lot of times that's a bigger strike zone, a bigger dude, and you could tell they put the hit on him, and that ball came out, and it came to the turf. Nice job playing physical by this defense. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Unloads to the wideout. The pass falls incomplete, and there are eight seconds left. That's one thing this defense takes a lot of pride on. They like tackling the catch, and they like being around the ball. That time, he was in proximity to knock that thing loose. Nice physical play. And the Broncos line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Just enough time to get off one final play of the half. He's looking to throw it. He lobs one high down the left side. It's incomplete, and they tried to finish this quarter with a bang and couldn't quite connect. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in Boise for a fun first half than you? And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And with that, let's send it back to our guys high above the Smurf turf. And the Aztecs will line up to kick off and start the second half. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. First play from scrimmage and they'll keep it on the ground. Moves up to the 34-yard line, give him a 10-yard pickup. This is going to be a big key for him, David, with the lead here in the second half, running the football, right? Staying on the field and bleeding the clock. Yeah, run the football, you're ahead, you can be a little bit more conservative. But again, this opens up the pass, this keeps everything in balance for this offense. 
The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Right back to the well. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Got three on first down at second and seven. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Now staring at a third and short from the 40. Looking to throw for it. Caught in the backfield, it's Genty. He's right there to stop him, but the quick throw and catch enough to give them the first down. You know, you don't see a lot of hitch throws against third down, but if you're going to give the receiver access like that, the quarterback's going to take it. That was just way too easy. The Broncos look to keep this drive humming. On the run, it's Genty. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. The running back has it. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the team line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. And the Broncos with the first and ten. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Give to the running back. Oh, just left him flailing. Just a savvy, veteran, productive run from this junior. And another nice game by the offense. All right, defense, we got to change something up here. They're, they're putting a big drive together, play after play, having a lot of success. How do we break the rhythm? How do we give them something that can create a tackle for a loss or a sack or something to get momentum back on my side? To the ground. He's got it again. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Maybe that stop shows this defense is tightening up, especially in the run game. The offense, frankly, they've been able to do whatever they want to do. They're just handing the ball off. This guy's having success left and right. No, sir. No, boss. Get it together. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Pressure coming. Going to try to pop one on the screen. Oh, he gave him the limp leg. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seventh. And they executed that running back screen to perfection. Quarterback held on to it. He let the rush get to him. Offensive lineman got out in position, and the running back sold it, too. Once he had the ball in his hands, he just had blockers and green field out in front of him. They pick up an explosive play on a running back screen. The Broncos trying to pay off the threat on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. 
And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. And they've been able to get within two yards. Now will they try to throw it in for the score? Going right back to the well, and this time he finds water. Gets it into the end zone for the touchdown. An impressive, long, methodical, meticulous drive ends in points. He just matriculated the ball down the field, didn't they, Reese? So impressive. Didn't see a lot of explosive plays, but how about the execution? Running and throwing the football. Wow. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point puts him on top 21 to 6. Precise, relentless execution on that 13 play scoring drive. And finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. They're just about ready to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. San Diego State takes over as the offense is ready to go to work. From the shotgun, the inside give. Gets it out to the 20 after a pickup of four. The Aztecs come to the line in the hurry up. From the gun, give on the inside. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. You ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. How about that nice, big, huge game? If I'm the OC, let's call that one again. Got away from trouble and got rid of it. And this sophomore's going to learn you can't force that type of pass. Very lucky to get it back. Still on the 35-yard line. They'll try it again on second and 10. Good timing on the quick out. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. And I love working the slot receivers. And you see so much of that. It's about matchups, right? I can put a fast guy in that slot. Maybe get him matched up on a linebacker or a safety. I like working those guys in those matchups. Favorable for the offense, for sure. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And he's to the 48-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. Well, that's kind of the advantage of third and medium, right? Is the defense, you keep them guessing. You can throw it, you can run it. That time they hand it off and they pick it up. Yeah, and you can see the D drop back a little bit. It creates a little bit of space. The running back blasts through, gets the first down. They'll give it to him again. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple at second and eight. The give to the running back from the shotgun. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short gain. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. Looking for a man, it's Duffy. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. 
There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. Looking to go up top on first down. It's on target and complete. They get him down after he makes a catch. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly, and that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. Caught behind the line. It's Cooper. And there's going to be a loss on that play. Just run out of bounds and avoiding the contact. If you like old school running games, this has been the game for you and a couple of guys who starred through the first three periods. One more period to go and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Wide open downfield. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. They'll snap it for the 10th time on this drive, but they need it. He'll take a shot. Zone. Touchdown, San Diego State! One of the areas they really focused on with this receiver in the offseason was we need you to make more plays for us in the end zone. When we're taking shots, we need you to be able to step up and make tough catches. And David, what a grab right there. And I think a lot of that has to do with trusting your guy, knowing where he's going to be, knowing when he's going to sit down when he's not. So being on the same page and then having a guy that can go get it. Just when the ball is near him, he's going to make the play just like he did right there for six points. And with the lead sitting at nine, they'll try to make it a one possession game. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Boise State ready to send out that offense. The give to the tailback. Into the pile, maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead. The offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back. He's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Wants to throw. It's Nelson. Fires to the middle. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. And the Broncos want to crank the tempo. They'll throw it on first down. Oh, he makes a catch. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. You know what's interesting? At this point of the game, with the lead in the fourth quarter, the defense is expecting them to run the ball. Because they're putting so many guys close to the line of scrimmage, they're taking advantage, throwing it two straight completions now back to back. The Broncos will snap it on first and ten. grab down the middle. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line, and they are threatening. This is so interesting right now, watching this offense stay aggressive. They've got the lead in the fourth quarter, and you're thinking at home, we got to just run the ball and try to bleed the clock. They found something on defense they're taking advantage of. Two straight completions. I won't be surprised if they throw it again. 
single back formation and they give it to it. And he's brought down after a nice game. Man, so nice to have a guy that you can depend on. Like, this, this offense is built around him for a reason. Just a, a good running back. You can see, gets north-south, doesn't dance, picks up positive yards, breaks tackles. He's just a really good player, and that's why this offense runs through him. On first down from the 13-yard line. They're getting this guy lathered up. And he is stopped immediately by the big defensive lineman. Well, this is a defense that we know takes tons of pride stopping the run. That's where it all starts and ends with them, and you saw a great effort on that last play. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. They'll give it to the back. Got enough space! Touchdown, Broncos! And they take it in for six more points. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point splits the uprights and the lead balloons to 15. So it's an 80-yard drive. And the capper came on the run to the end zone from the 13. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. Guys, we're about to get another look at this San Diego State offense. The give to the back. Works ahead for a couple. They'll stop him at the 27. And the Aztecs want to pick up the tempo. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. That one could really put this drive into high gear as they have a first down at the 37. And listen, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, I love teams that commit to the run, and when it's successful, keep running the rock. Yeah, David, I think this offensive line right now, they've got a lather going. They're really sort of getting in the groove and flow of this game. They're just getting tremendous push at the point of attack. It seems like every single time they decide to run the ball. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. After the misfire, it's second down. Dropping back, it's Duffy. He's got his man. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. This offense has their work cut out for him, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. The play action fake. Fires to the wideout. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. Normally, I would say fourth and short on your own side of the field. You punt the ball away. But we're in the fourth quarter, and they need to keep this drive going to win. I say go for it. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Fires to the tight end. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. Well, down two possessions. Good news is you get the completion. Bad news, though, did not get out of bounds. You know right now, saving the clock. That is at a premium for this offense. The Aztecs had this offense rolling. Off the play fake on first down. 
throws for the tight end. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. They're going to throw it again. Finds his tight end. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You've got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. And you're going to win this game. And the Aztecs moving quickly to the line. On third down, he drops to throw. Looking deep down the right side. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. Well, the defense didn't get caught napping there. In this situation, you know they have to stay alert for the deep ball. Yeah, so what defense am I going to call? I'm going to keep some DBs back deep. I'm going to keep my safety a little bit deeper. Understanding they're down. They're going to have to attack down the field. I'm going to stick to my passing sets, my nickels, my dimes. He's not afraid to go deep. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. And they finally make the tackle, but this will be a pretty easy conversion for this offense. Sometimes we don't give enough credit to a receiver knowing exactly where he needs to be on the field, and they pick up the first down there. Yeah, and you've got to give the receiver credit, obviously knowing where that is, but the defender needs to know where it is, too. Where is he trying to get? That ball's going to come out quick. He didn't really understand where the sticks were, and because of that, he gives up the first down. Need to just be a little bit more aware as a defensive guy. And good coverage and better hands on that shot to the end zone. No rest for the wicked for this offense. They are taking shots. You just saw a big explosive play on the previous one, and right away they get back to the line of scrimmage, and they throw it in the end zone. They have got this defense on their heels. Operating in the red zone here on second down. They'll run it out of the shotgun. They could have used a little bit more there. Pick up a three. It's third and seven. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Back to pass. It's Duffy. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we see miracles in college football all of the time, and they could use one here. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. Shoots it to the left. And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Aztecs! Yeah, and, and that's step one. Great job by this offense getting in the end zone. Now you got to go get the stop. you got to get the football back. you got to find a way to do something to create a turnover, get an onside to get the football back, to get back in this football game. And with the lead sitting at nine, they'll try to make it a one-possession game. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. That is what they mean when they say ball control, a 14-play touchdown drive. And the scoring play comes on a touchdown pass from 22 yards out. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Boise State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. Okay, Jesse, this is a little bit of a tight spot. You'd love to be aggressive enough to get the first down, but you've got to take care of the ball first. No doubt. I was going to say, ball security is at a premium. You cannot turn the football over at this point. The defense has three timeouts left, David, so probably conservative play calling here. You're expecting them to try to run to ice this game. Conservative, I know they're going to be aggressive, but I also know that one first down ends this football game. 
Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to thrive. Third and medium, hey, I'm good with that. So you run that play to make sure you're set up for a good third down. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. And the Broncos will line up to punt it away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Couldn't get away from that cover team, and they've got him down at the 23. Guys, let's see what adjustments this San Diego State offense has made this time. Looking to throw, it's Duffy. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Yeah, and you use these running backs so much in the passing game now, and you expect him to make those plays for you, to make those big explosive plays out of the backfield. Just got to make sure he concentrates and see that ball come in. Second down after that incompletion. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Well, they've thrown two straight incompletions, and they just need to play pitch and catch on this next play. They're down a possession, and you don't have to necessarily get the first down right here, but if you don't get it, you've got to at least keep the fourth down manageable to give yourself an opportunity to keep pushing the ball down the field and give yourselves a shot to win. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. Well, they're down a possession, and they're on their own side of the 50, so they need a big one right here. They've just thrown three straight incompletions, but it just takes one. It just takes one big play down the field to all of a sudden get that momentum and that juice flowing again to give yourselves a chance to win. They're throwing for it on fourth down. He's got him, and they convert. He's loose. He's at the 10. Touchdown, San Diego State. A great catch and run for six. And this is obviously a no-brainer. Great job by the offense. Great execution. Inside of two minutes, you've got to go for two. You, you've got to dial up this play, try to tie this football game up. What's your favorite two-point play? Dial it up, and let's tie this game up. Now they'll try to tie it up with the two late. Trying to bully their way in. He gets it into the end zone. The two-point try is good, and we are all tied up late. Coming down the stretch in the fourth, and we are all tied up, about set to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. A pretty good bit of ground to cover here, Jesse, but they've got some time to work with. They do. So tempo is going to be important. you got to go fast. you just got to make good decisions at the quarterback position. And those good decisions are throwing the ball beyond the sticks, using the sidelines to get out of bounds, trying to maximize this time and get it a position to win. Looking to throw, it's Nelson. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. It's been tough for this QB in this one. Very small windows to throw into, and he's been under some duress as well. It's hard to find a rhythm as a QB in those types of situations, and that's why it appears as though his team's going to be leaving here with an L. All knotted up. Is free football in the forecast, or can this offense win it here? Caught near the sideline, it's Genty. Ball is at the 41 as this defense tries to force the punt on third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Looking to the big tight end. Got him downfield. 
And he was on his way. Gets it all the way to the 38. And you gotta love the versatility of the big fella. You put him in the box and let him block big defensive linemen, or you put him in the slot and you throw him the football and have success. The Broncos have it with a first and ten. They're going back to the ground. Across the 25, he's got room. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Yeah, another good run. I feel like we can put that on loop, Jesse. Just another good run, another good run, another good run. Over 150 yards on the day. He's been the complete package, showing off all his skills today. They're going to ride this running back. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Boise State. And they've got the lead in the final minute. And, man, this game has been awesome. Some back and forth. Now you take the lead late. Nice job by the offense. And now you just need your defense to come through for you. One more time. One stop. Less than a minute remaining. Go out there finish this thing off. He'll try to tack on one more. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the score came on an impressive run from the 20. Now that they have the lead, this kickoff unit has to stay in their lane, create some field position, and hand it over to the defense. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. The Aztecs offense ready to go back to work. Okay, one possession game. You've got some time to work with, but you have to make up some ground quickly, David. Got to be smart. Can't throw in front of the sticks. Can't get tackled in front of the sticks. Make sure we're taking some shots down the field, chewing up some yards. Jesse, the defense will be vulnerable here. Yeah, and I think because of that, David, offensively, you got to have a plan. You got to know where your best matchup is out on the perimeter and who can make the big catches here in small windows. Got to get everybody lined up quickly, time winding away, and they've got to push the ball down the field. Back to throw, it's Duffy. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. Well, you look at the clock, they've got time for one more play, but they're out of Hail Mary range here, needing a touchdown to win this game. This is going to be a, a last-second, last-chance play that they practice, by the way, throughout the week. It's going to involve probably a lot of laterals. We've seen crazier stuff happen in college football. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Coming after it. That will be the final play as they make the stop, and the clock has expired here. 